How's that? It's a super formula car. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Let's Go Racing, and this video is a response to a comment a lot of you have been asking. What is the difference between Super Formula and Formula One? Well, I thought with the aid of this fantastic drawing, I'm gonna try and explain it a little bit for you. As you can see, both cars in both championships are open wheel, big single seaters with a lot of power. But which one is quicker? Well, Formula One is the quicker of the two series. But how do they differ? Because they look quite alike. Well, the first thing to notice is the monocoque of the car, the chassis in the middle of the car, which runs from about here up to the front of the car. That is a one make chassis in Super Formula. Made by Delara, it's very lightweight. In Formula One, each team makes their own monocoque, apart from Haas F1, who also use a Delara chassis, but it is still a bespoke design. That's one of the biggest differences between the two championships. The other big difference is power. So in the back of the car, of the Super Formula car, you have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine that comes from either from Honda or Toyota. Now, it produces around 700 brake horsepower. Formula One, of course, uses a much smaller engine, which is a 1.6 litre V6. So you add a couple of cylinders on there, but it's not just a combustion engine. It's got a big old hybrid system on it, which gives you a whole bunch of extra power, taking Formula One cars up to about 1,000 brake horsepower, nearly 300 more than the Super Formula. The other difference is aerodynamics. Now, a Formula One car has very complex aerodynamics with all these barge boards and little bits of stuff at the front that actually nobody really understands outside of the wind tunnel department. However, on Super Formula, none of that. It's very clean, crisp aerodynamic lines because Super Formula is not designed as a purely high downforce series. Every car's equal, why put all of that downforce on it? So Super Formula cars have less downforce than those of Formula One. So less downforce, less power. Tires though. Bit of a difficult question this because no one's done a back-to-back -back test. Do this one make Yokohama tires used in Super Formula generate more grip than the one make Pirelli tires used in Formula One. We don't know, but as you've seen on some of those recent onboard videos, the Super Formula cars really do have very high apex speeds. However, the F1 tires are a little bit wider, have a bigger contact patch, and of course more downforce. So Formula One cars currently corner a little bit quicker than the Super Formula cars. So what other big differences are there? Well, with the one make chassis, and the very close engines, the Honda and Toyota are a little bit different, but they're very close. Both cars have halos, of course, between um, Formula One and Super Formula. Controversially so, I think they look a bit ugly, but they do have a safety benefit. What is the big difference? Well, Formula One is an open engineering, open development, international single-seater championship, and it's the fastest in the world. Super Formula is the second fastest in the world. Yes, it's faster than GP2 or IndyCar, the only development allowed is in the engine department and obviously in the driving department, but those guys never develop that well, do they? And those are the big differences between the two series. It's a one-make national championship against a multi-chassis international championship, but quite frankly, I love watching them both. Now, if you enjoyed that rather breathless explainer of Super Formula versus F1 and you want to see more or know more, leave your questions in the comments. Also, if you want me to explain anything else using my magic drawing skills and this big whiteboard, again, let us know and we will make that happen here on Let's Go Racing. Which leaves me just to say, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Here we go. Start with the, the wing, the lower wing. Just get the spars in between. There you go, one crossbar like that. We'll put in, put in the cockpit sort of like that. And uh, radial engine, of course. Radial engine, then we've got to come back like that. There's your tail plane, like that. It's, little, it's gonna be a little tail draggle. Uh, fixed undercarriage, I think. Coming in here, there you go. Uh, we've got a little control rod at the back there to the tail section. Got some cockpit spars. There you go. Little, uh, there you go. Little exhaust stubs in here. There you go. My dream car. Terrible downforce. Ah, oh, good point. I'll fly it upside down. <laughs>